the first tool that I use to consistently find winning products is this website right here. It's called My IP. I already have it here. Dot MS, right? So I'm gonna search it up, and I'm gonna go to the website. And basically, this website helps you find pretty much any other website's IP address. So uh, what you can do is what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this. Go back to Google, and we're gonna look up Shopify IP address. I already had it there. IP address, and right here you're gonna be able to actually get Shopify's IP address. It's public records. I'm just gonna copy that paste it right here right and what it's going to do is it's going to pull up shopify's ip address and it's going to link back to their website but the cool part about this website is is that it shows all websites that are on the shopify platform uh, because they have the same ip address right if you go right here on other sites on ip address it's going to load up literally all the shopify stores that are on the ip address uh, matching of course shopify's original ip address so if you have it right here uh, based on this, the stores that showed up like ColourPop, Fashion Nova, Gymshark, Movement Watches, uh, KimKardashianBeauty.com, uh, it's pretty much showing all the stores in order from like top performing, you can see right here, world type popular rating, the most popular stores that they have, all the way down to the least popular stores. And so that's one section, we're kind of going to get into that. But if you can see down here, you can also see what websites have changed their IP address addresses or their domains originally it was hosted right here and then it came over and now the website that it's actually under is this name right here bunker branding it gives you a ton of data honestly right here shows you the non-working websites on that ip address so these are all the websites on shopify that are no longer active right here this is huge because it's going to save you a ton of time when it comes to referencing stores and products so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to look at we're going to hit view all records and right here when I view all records, it's literally again going to have all the stores. So when you hit this, it's going to show the products from least popular rating to the top popular rating. So if you just go right here, you can start looking at the somewhat of like the least popular stores. But if you filter it, if you go up here, you hit this button right here, you can filter it. And it's going to start loading up from the most popular stores all the way back down like how we first had it. Again, if you're not selling anything yet and you don't know if you should do a general store or a niche store, if you're thinking about doing a general store, just selling general products, then you can kind of go through here and you know start looking at these stores and look for general stores that are selling kind of generic products, right? And you can start getting some ideas from those stores. Uh, if you already have a niche that you're thinking about getting into or uh, a niche where you know you want to sell these kind of products and you can kind of filter out and find stores specifically based on the niche so for example right if we want to sell dog products if we type in dog it's going to load up all the stores the word dog in their website name so if we go down here you can see bird dogs mad dog pack.com store dog.net now all these stores again not every single store is going to be drop shipping but all these stores you can use to reference and get ideas from to see what kind of products are selling really well. Because again, these are top performing stores. So if you go right here to start, let's use this store as an example, storedog.net. So I'm going to go right here, new tab, storedog.net. And it's going to load up. And right here, I just pulled up somebody's Shopify store, right? And it looks like it's, they're not exactly selling like dog products. They're kind of just selling clothing. But another thing that I wanted to show you guys, a little bit of a hack per se that you can actually utilize is if you go to the store right here, I just pulling up some notes here because I had, I wanted to make sure I covered this for you guys. But there's going to be some stores where they set up their best selling products in a best sellers collection, right? Because sometimes what they want to do is um, right here, uh, you can see that this store already has actually the best seller section. So if you click right here, they're already going to show you the best sellers. But sometimes what stores will do is they won't have like a category on their menu where it's going to say best sellers. Um, they're kind of just have their best selling products hidden on the back end and they'll kind of put them, you know, in their store, like either in a new section or new arrivals or things like that. So for example, if this store didn't publicly show their best seller section, you can actually get around it. If you go up here, and if we go to just the original domain of the store, and this is gonna work on pretty much any website, uh, it'll show it if they actually have a bestseller collection made around these products on the back end. Uh, if they don't have a bestseller collection made, then it won't show it, but it'll work for a lot of stores. So if I, if I go to forward slash collections, forward slash all question mark sort underscore by equals best selling, it'll take you right to their best sellers collection, right? So obviously this store's best sellers collection is right here. So it's gonna load up this. But if they didn't have a best sellers collection public that you can easily find, it would show this right, it would show them to you right here if you just type this in. So 
is you can also use this other tool which I'm literally dropping gold on you guys. It's called similar, it's called similar web. If you go to similarweb.com, you can literally search up any website and it's gonna give you a free report showing you guys the amount of traffic they're getting and a whole lot more. So one thing you can do is, let's say if we wanted to sell watches. So we know that Movement is a huge watch brand and they're absolutely crushing it, right? So if we wanted to sell watches, one thing we could do is, we'll go to similarweb.com, type in Movement Watches, watches.com, and we're gonna get a full analysis letting us know tons of different things, right? So if you go down here, it's gonna show you guys things like, you know, how many visitors are getting in the month of March, they got 2.5 million visitors in their store. And that's absolutely insane. So obviously, there's no way to tell if this is like 100% accurate, but I can tell you guys based on like their revenue and things like that, how much they did last year, this is probably like very close to what it, their act numbers actually is. So if you go on this website, you can do a lot of things like, you know, you can see again, their search, where their traffic is coming from, direct, social, things like that. Uh, you can see the top referring sites. You can also see, what I like to do is come down here and look at their competitors to see if I can find competitor websites, right? So you can see right here, it looks like the, the time bum is another competitor selling watches. And what you can then do, it looks like this website right here, let's see what they're selling. So it looks like they're also selling like gadgets and things like that. I don't think they're, they're probably like an, uh, an affiliate marketing website, so we won't really check them. But you can see here, there's another one of their competitors right about here. You can see that one of their biggest competitors, not biggest, but I would say another one of their competitors is right here, the time bump. And so well, then you can then start doing is start seeing like what things they're doing, right? In their e-commerce store, see how much traffic they're getting, see what kind of products they're selling and a whole lot more. So this is literally, some of the, these are literally the tools that I use uh, in my product research process to consistently find winning products, right? If you're just beginning, then the absolute easiest way to make a lot of money really quick is to find products that are in niches that are huge, that are evergreen, meaning that they've been around for a long time and will be around for a long time because people are spending money, right? And uh, to find products that are actually selling in those niches. So how do we actually go ahead and do that? Well, there's a few tools that I use. One of them is called Thieve.co, which uh, you, know, you can just check out. Uh, so Thieve.co is this website uh, that curates the best AliExpress products. So sometimes I like to go on here and just look at uh, you know the trending products, see if we can't find anything cool. Um, and what I'm usually looking for is uh, first you can see you know how many uh, order. Well, I don't know if those are orders, but at least like how popular they are. Um, but I'm looking for products that have a very uh, definitive niche, right? So um, a lot of watches here. Shoes, watches, glasses. I actually sold these for a while. Um, hammocks, tents. Let's see. So, looks like a lot of generic stuff right now, which is fine. Um, we some sometimes you can find good stuff. Sometimes it's you know it's kind of a hit or a miss. Uh, fingerboards used to be huge. I didn't know those are still a thing. Um, so yeah, so okay, for example, so if you can read this, bring me a glass of wine. So it looks like, let's just say wine socks, right? Um, so if we jump over to AliExpress, let's just type in wine socks, see what we get. I'm gonna sort this by orders, and boom, look at that, 55,000 orders. Now, the cool thing about this is you can totally market to, especially if you're doing Facebook ads, market to people that like wine. Um, or specific wines and also like socks or live in cold areas, you know, different things like that uh, that you can definitely target. So let's just go jump in and I'm gonna show you some things that are pretty interesting. So this is actually not the total number of orders contrary to popular belief. This is the amount that were, it was either ordered in the last 30 days or that uh, are currently processing. Either way, there's a lot more than 55,000 that were ordered of this product. As you can see, it has uh, 12,000 votes, 4.9 stars. That's outstanding. You're always looking for products that have, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of momentum. So, let me go down and see. One of the metrics that I really like to look at when I'm picking a product is this right here, which is the amount of uh, the transaction history, I guess is what they call it, but the amount of orders over a time. So today is January 18th, so you can see um, you know, all this. I'm recording this in advance. 
Um, but if you go to number two, okay, so then we have the 17th starting, let's see, three, still the 17th, and you can see this here, somebody named N something from the US is ordering a lot of pairs, which is a good sign. Okay, these are making sales. Still on the 17th, let's see, still on the 17th, so on and so forth, still on the 17th. So these are making a lot of sales still currently, like right now. So this could be an awesome product to jump in on. Generally, just uh, as a rule of thumb, I'm looking for products that have usually over 2,000 orders and are selling hot. So uh, when you click on the product, if you go down here, um, ideally I'd like to see at least one full page full from the uh, from the day, right? If you see something where it's like, you know, January 17th all the way to here, and then it's like the 14th, and then it's like, you know, the 12th or something like that, that's too inconsistent for me, and I don't wanna make, I don't wanna try to sell that because it's gonna be, you know, kind of difficult to, to sell because, you know, maybe the product died off or something like that. You wanna sell hot products that are working right now, okay? So um, another thing to look at is the price point. So we can see that Essentially, we're paying about $2 for the product, and let's see how much shipping is. Shipping's an extra $1.33, so all in, we're at $3.33. If you want, you could totally do a free plus shipping offer on this, but I'm gonna show you something that could be pretty interesting. So, um, what I usually like to do when, when looking to price a product is to actually look at competitors. So, something you can do is just take the, uh, you know, the name of the product, so let's see. Let's type in this. Uh, so I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go over to Google and I'm going to type in uh, type in this. So site, whoops, site colon myshopify.com, and then we're going to do uh, col uh, two quotes and we're going to paste what we just had and we're going to hit enter. And here you go. So here's a bunch of different Shopify stores that are actually selling the current thing. So what you can do a lot of times, you can actually see the price of it. So you can, can see somebody, so $16.95, $14.95, $17.99. Um, let's open up some of these and see how we're, how we're doing. Um, and another thing you can look at is actually the, uh, you know, the description. So when you're writing descriptions, you can actually get some ideas for, for what's going on. You can also see what they're pricing at here, which obviously there's, you know, a pretty huge markup on this, which is good for us. There's a lot of profit uh, to be made. It looks like that one's down. Um, and my computer is super slow right now. Okay, so uh, looks like this one is 10.99. It looks like they have a horrible description and pretty bad website too. So I'm not gonna mess with this one. Um, these guys, 17.99, Alexia and Co. And it looks like they're doing a little upsell here, which is cool. Um, you know, we got a decent little description there. Okay, so they're doing uh, 17.99. Let's see what these guys are doing, 14.95. Okay, cool. Uh, and these guys are doing 16.95. So let's just say the average is around like 14.95. So I usually like to be on the lower end of things to start off because it's easier to get some traction. Maybe even throw in a little discount code there as well, if you'd like. Um, but essentially, that's that's what you could charge for this product, and you could go out and actually sell it, whether with Facebook or I would recommend doing Instagram ads and then you know switching over to Facebook. So that's one way that you can find a product. Another way you can do it is through Facebook itself. And this is actually a way that I really uh, kind of prefer, is literally you can just go up to Facebook and type in free shipping. Okay, so I'm just gonna type in free shipping there, and I'm gonna go to videos. And the reason I'm going to videos is because you can immediately see how many people watched it and how many people engaged, which is super useful for being able to, uh, you know, kind of decipher what products you want to sell. And it's also super useful for seeing what type of ad copy is actually working for them, all that kind of stuff. So let's see what we got. So as you can see, uh, you know, you can see how many views it has. So 75,000, that's pretty good. 230,000, okay. 2 million for whatever that is, not sure what that is. Um, ideally, I'm looking for stuff that has a, a definitive niche. So yeah, that has 2 million, but it would be hard, especially for a beginner, to make sales on that. Um, Talking Hamster has 7 million. That's pretty insane. Okay, let's actually, let's actually look at this. Talking Hamster, uh, yeah. So, 
I'm going to pause this. So what you could actually do, you know, assuming that you wanted to go with this product, is you could literally just uh, download this Facebook video and use it for your own and repurpose it and, you know, write, write a new thing, as long as it's not copyrighted. If it's copyrighted, obviously you can't do that, but in most cases, they are not copyrighted. So uh, you can look at what they are saying here. You can see 28,000 likes, 13,000 shares, 7.3 million views. We go to the comments. Look at that. Tons of comments of people tagging friends, all kinds of different stuff. And what you could do if you really want to get in depth is you could actually click on individual profiles and look at their likes and see if you can find common threads to kind of decipher what they are, um, what they're sort of targeting here. But let's go ahead and go to their page where they're selling this. So the talking hamster, they're selling it for $19.95 and obviously they're probably making a lot of sales, right? Um, oh, real quick, another way, I just thought of this, uh, kind of random, but another way you can do it is you can actually use this plugin, which, what is this plugin called? Commerce Inspector. So if you just research Commerce Inspector, it's a free plugin um, that you can actually see some really cool metrics. Um, so the free version, you can't necessarily see all these things, but if you go to products, you can see, um, bah, 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 once it loads, you can see when they're launching products. So you can see they launched, uh, six there, one there. So they're launching products fairly frequently, not super frequently. Sometimes you'll see like, you know, like this, they'll launch tons of products and then it'll die off. Usually, you know, assuming it's a good store, that means that they probably found a winning product in here somewhere. Um, and you can actually see what they most recently launched. So all these different ones. And another cool thing that you can do is you can actually look at their best selling chart. So if you go to the best selling, this is ranking their entire website by the best selling product. So apparently this, uh, you know, whatever that shirt is, is the best seller, this onion thing, um, whatever this is, you know, all kinds of different ideas that you could use to then go on AliExpress and see if it's something that you could sell. My ultimate advice for, um, for drop shipping is to not go in with a niche in mind. Just go in finding products and let the products sort of define your niche. So, um, Let's get back on track to the uh, to our hamster here. Let's uh, let's see if we can find it on AliExpress. So I'm just gonna go up here and type in hamster, uh, talking hamster. I think they called it. Okay. And boom, there it is. Let's sort by orders. And there you go. Whoa. Who knew? Almost 10,000 orders in process right now. 5,000, 5,080. So it looks like the price they're buying it for is $5.86 free shipping and they're selling it for $19.95. So that's like 15, you know, $14 shipping depending on if you want to do free shipping, whatever. Um, that's a pretty good profit margin that you're getting off of each one of these hamster sales. So let's just go to it real quick and see it looks like it's talking hamster, plush toy, learn to speak electric hamster educational children's stuff toy. So I guess uh, you'd be marketing it to children as an educational toy of some sort. I'd have to do more research to actually sort of figure that out. But coming down here, you can see that, you know, it's selling like crazy. This person E whatever is selling tons of them. Uh, yeah, they're going nuts. So that, that person is actually probably our Facebook person here because this, uh, I don't know if this ad is still going. Yeah, it's still going. Look at that, three hours ago, three hours ago, three hours ago. So this person is probably just making a killing off of this Facebook ad right now. Um, and yeah, you literally have access to exactly what he's doing, exactly what his website is, and exactly, basically what his marketing scheme is. And you can just go out and copy it and make it a little bit better for yourself. And today we're gonna to be talking about product research, everyone's favorite. Uh, so we're gonna go into my product research techniques. It's a little bit different than what other people teach, especially like in drop shipping courses. Uh, one of the places that I always start at and a lot of people don't talk about is actually called OfferVault.com. Now, why do I go to OfferVault.com? So OfferVault is like an aggregator for affiliate offers. And if you don't know what affiliate offers is, it's basically um, people who, let's say that you have uh, like a supplement you want to sell, right? But you don't wanna drive your own traffic. So you set up an affiliate program for your supplement saying, hey, I will pay anyone anywhere from 40 to $80, either for an email, just an email, or to get a sale. And the affiliates, affiliate marketers drive the traffic for them. And this 
places like OfferVault are like aggregators where they have all these different affiliate offers from all these different ad networks, right? So they put it all in one place for you, so it's easy to see. Now, why is this cool? Now, let's just, they have a uh, trending searches here about different niches, so like weight loss, Bitcoin, iPhone, all that kind of stuff. But what's cool is, let's take survival for example. Just type in survival here, and let's see what comes up. Okay, so you can see all, we have some survival results. We have, a, we have a core pack here, so let's check this out. I'm gonna go to open this as a new tab. Uh, survival straw, survival laser. Let's just open these up and see what they are. Turn this off. Tested and approved. So they have a nice short form video sales letter here. Nine in one core pack. So right here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with a box here. So they're selling a big box, a pack full of all these different products here. Now, why is this cool? Already you have eight products that you know uh, probably sell well because they are paying. Let's see what they're paying. So they're paying $48 to whoever gets, whatever affiliate marketer gets them a sale, right? So let's go to their order page, right? So they have, let's see what they have. Flint Firestarter, let's write these things down. This is our ideas for our own bundles, for our own uh, store. LED, LED tactical flashlight. Oops. Compass with ruler for map navigation stainless steel and this is exactly what I do guys okay I make a list potential products we're going to look at the price point after that I and look on AliExpress okay tactical pen Multi-function card tool. Okay, I'm just gonna stop here for this page here. Let's just check. Let's just check what their prices are for this core pack. Looks like a ClickFunnels page, or it looks like a yeah. It looks like they're using ClickFunnels. Got the 91 Survival Core Pack today. Normally 236.45 retail, free shipping. Okay, look down here. Really cool, right? One Survival Core Pack, sixty four dollars. We're gonna see in a second, but I bet you they can get each of these items for anywhere from 50 cents to four or five dollars, right? Um, so <laughs> they're probably making a decent amount of profit and they have multiple core packs here for you to purchase, right? And look, they've highlighted two core packs. So this is probably the one they want you to buy, um, probably the one they make that, that's most popular or that they make the most profit on, um, but they give you the option for bulk orders, right? And what does this do? Ups your average order value. These are the kinds of things I look at. Uh, I like to set up my my order pages, uh, whether it's in ClickFunnels, uh, whether it's in Shopify, to try and entice the person, the customer, to buy more than one or to buy more stuff. Uh, so like post-purchase upsells, bundles, those type of things. I love those things because it gets your average order value up, right? Look, it goes all the way to $640. And I guarantee you people buy this, right? 20 core packs. Um, very, very cool, very, very cool. We got some we got some cool products here. So that's one of them. Survival straw. Let's check this out. See what they got going on. Survival straw, another video, short form video letter. Might be the same company actually, Primitive Survivors. Okay, I mentioned before guys, you can get one of these videos done like in Fiverr or Upwork for like 15, to $25, right? Uh, I don't know how long this is. Yeah, about a minute, minute 45. Yeah, you can get these done for, for pretty cheap, right? So like, don't look at this and be intimidated. Anyone can do this, hire someone to do it. Um, I've hired people from the Philippines to make these for me and it's come out pretty good. Uh, but this is, look at this straw here. Let's see how much they're selling it for, but regular price 99.95. I guarantee you they're cutting that in half and making it $50, which is still a huge profit. So. Right here, they got 
customer reviews, social proof. They got pictures. Uh, they have action shots of people using it. Some uh, more features here. Some benefits down here. Removes 99.9% .9 of bacteria, viruses, parasites such as E. coli. Let's see how much it costs. This is really cool. I like this product. Yeah, it looks like the same company. So again, look, they're giving you, they're trying to incentivize you to buy more than one. I don't even see one straw here. Oh, right here, one survival straw for 40 bucks. Buy three, two, get two free. This straw is probably, they probably get it for around two to three dollars, I would say. Massive, massive margin of markup, right? So like, and people pay for this, right? Uh, the reason I like to look on affiliate networks is because, uh, look, they're paying $40 a sale. Sometimes they pay $40 per email. So what does this tell you? They're making money. They're making, people are buying, people are spending money on their funnel, right? And that's why they can afford to pay out so much per sale, right? Because they know on the back end they're going to make $40 or more, right? Uh, they wouldn't be hiring affiliates to do that if they didn't have a converting funnel. So that's why I like to look at these. It shows you products that are converting well, and then you can go ahead and go back into AliExpress and find that product uh, and you know compare the price and all that kind of stuff. So right here, CPA. Uh, I believe CPA um, is probably a lead. Another video sales letter. Lead meaning just a, like an email submit. Right here, very cool order page. You got scarcity, you got benefits. So powerful, it can ignite a match. Ooh, I love that. Uh, they got it in a little case here with free waterproof case and this this pair of glasses, whatever it is. Um, nice, nice, nice. Very nice. So very similar to the other uh, sales pages we've seen, but uh, this is a, what is this? Survival laser? So look, in the, I don't know how long it's been, maybe five minutes or so, but look how many cool products I've found in five minutes, right? And I'm not going, people will go into AliExpress, sort by orders and look at that. Um, I've done that before too, but you know, this is a better way for me at least to gauge sales proof, right? Because look at all the cool products we just found. And we know they're selling because affiliates are willing to pay out this per sale, right? Uh, if you wanted to apply, by the way, if you want to apply to these affiliate networks and promote these offers yourself, like if you want to promote this, uh, like advertise the core pack or the survival straw, you can sign up to maxbounty.com. Just click on this. And then you sign up as an affiliate and you can just run ads to this and get $48 per sale. Pretty cool, right? So um, it's a two in one, right? You can either be an affiliate or you can be, you can sell it as your own product. So I think we have a good list of products here to go look and reverse engineer and other sites. Uh, but that's my first step usually is looking on affiliate platforms and you find some really cool sales pages, ad copy, that kind of stuff, all right? I also like to look at Amazon to try and look at sales proof for the products, right? So let's just take uh, survival straw. Let's take survival straw. And let's just see, I don't use this to look at price, by the way. I use this to look at you know reviews, uh, maybe get ideas of what people are saying, what they're complaining about. Look at this, 6,899 reviews. That means this thing is selling like, like hotcakes, okay? Um, and what you can do here is just look at, you can use this in your ad copy, right? You can, you can not copy it exactly. Don't, don't, be, don't be an asshole, right? Don't copy this exactly and paste it into your page, right? Just take inspiration, um, but look what, what they're saying. Award-winning life straw water filters must carry for hiking, camping, travel, emergencies. Right there, targeting options, right? Uh, no disaster com kit is complete without it. Fills up to 1,000 liters of contaminated water without iodine, chlorine, or other chemicals. Um, and you can look at reviews here. You can look at what people are saying it's good for. Exactly as amazing as people told you. No joke, I took it backpacking on Maine's Bigelow Range. I don't know if, if that's how you say it. When I ran out of water, I bought, I brought, I was a-okay with this, just bring a wide mouth to feel. Um, so I like to look at Amazon reviews, maybe get ideas for things to write in my uh, ad copy and my ads for Facebook or whatever you're using. But great, great intel on Amazon because people trust Amazon, right? People really trust Amazon and they, they leave honest reviews about the product there, right? 
Okay, so that's what I use Amazon for. I like to gauge sales proof. Uh, you can also look at questions and answers here, like what people are questioning, and you can address that in your ad copy as well. Uh, but Amazon's great, 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 great place for um, you know research on what your competitors are doing, what your customers, potential customers are saying. That helps you with your marketing, right? Remember, guys, drop shipping is is it's marketing, right? You have to remember that. People get stuck in the get yours here stuff, the very short ad copy, um, you know, just a regular store e-commerce page with nothing on it with benefits or anything like that. This is marketing, right? The reason it's getting hard, harder in drop shipping is because you're not trying hard enough, right? You're not, you're not doing true, true marketing and you're not actually trying to understand the customer, understand what the consumer is thinking and trying to solve a problem for them, right? It's not about you, it's about them. So. Okay, so once we've looked at Amazon.com, we've looked at, uh, again, we've looked at OfferVault.com, we've looked at Thieve.co, we've looked at Amazon.com, and then once I have a list of, you know, some pretty decent products of that I wanna maybe go after, I'll go into AliExpress, right? And I have, uh, over here, I have the Dropified extension, which is what we discussed in the last video, so make sure you get that installed. And what it can do, basically, is you just click this, right? And you see how it says export to survive, ultimate survival online. Uh, what I like to do first is I like to, you see how it has Chinese writing here? I like to X out anything that has Chinese writing, right? I also like to look for um, some lifestyle shots if they have some. So maybe this one, maybe this one. Um, uh, size comparison, that's probably good. And then I will send to Shopify. I'll, just, I'll adjust the uh, product description later. Uh, but I'll send it to Shopify. But uh, what do I look for in suppliers, by the way? I just want to give you an example of how you just import it quickly to Shopify using the Dropify app. Uh, what do I look for in suppliers? Uh, I like to have a 95% or higher on the feedback here. So the positive feedback, I like to have a 95% or higher. Uh, I don't like to have like suppliers that I really knew. Sometimes this will say under a year. Uh, I don't like to mess with that, right? You wanna have someone that has experience uh, selling. I also like to look for a four and a half or above on this. Uh, if they only have like 10 reviews and they have like four stars, that's not usually good. That means um, you might wanna find a different supplier. Uh, I also like to look at the feedback here. So what, I'm, what, am I, what am I looking at in feedback? You can look at pictures, first of all, just to see like what the product actually looks like, right? So you just click this box with pictures Knife is good, okay, cool. So it shows you. I actually use these in reviews, and to me, you're selling the same product, right? If, you're, if, you're, if you are selling the same product, like if you are selling this knife on your store, I don't see any reason why you can't use the reviews here, right, because it's the same product. So I will sometimes, you know, like right click and then save this, this image here, right, save image as and then maybe use it in my on my sales page, right, on my review page. Uh, I don't, like again, I said that if, if you're selling this exact same product, I don't think anything is wrong with doing that. So you have some cool pictures here. So you can do that. That's, that's how um, you get social proof for your reviews. And um, let's, let's also look at the one-star reviews. So why do we wanna look at one-star reviews? Because uh, sometimes you're gonna see like pages of people complaining about shipping time or damaged product or didn't arrive, stuff like that, uh, like right here. Uh, no, that's not it. Uh, goods not sent, return for money, which is just cheater. Uh, so like these, like make sure you're looking at the countries. If it's like Russia or some like other like, if it's like a third world country or something like that, um, don't take as much weight as if it's like maybe US or UK or Canada or people that are complaining that are in the first tier one countries, right? Um, because people, like countries like Russia will, will leave a lot of negative reviews. So you don't wanna be swayed by that. Uh, but that's just something I look at, you know, one-star reviews, just to get a feel for what problems you might write, run into if you're drop shipping this product, right? Okay, so let's take a look at, let's do the survival straw maybe. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna import three for now, okay? I'm not one of those guys that likes to import, you know, 50, 100 products. I usually start the store with about three to five products, okay? 
simplicity for me so I can focus on those products. And I just spend more time around my messaging, around picking good products that solve a problem and appeal to a passionate audience, right? Uh, those things to me are more important than picking a billion products and testing like 10 products a day, right? For me, it's about picking good products, ones that you know are selling. And also I like to pick products that I can mark up more in price, whether that's through, um, you know, whether that's through bundling or anything like that, right?